Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned, in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Notwithstanding ye have worked. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now unto God, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now unto God, but I have all, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now unto God. the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of YouTube, YouTube of viewers, if you do not want God to help you with fear, worry, and concerns, or any other problem that you may possibly think of, or any other problem that may possibly come to your mind, Please do not watch this video twice in the last week or two. My, my visiting aunt, Michelle, when she was in visiting last week or, or week before, when, when she and my uncle Willis and, and, and my mom and my aunt Marty and, and my uncle Sean, when they were all in the, in the living room visiting, when I walked in the living room, my aunt Michelle or my or my aunt Marty, one of them freaked out saying, Blake, your face is red. Why is your face so red? Well will YouTube will YouTube viewers these relatives that I just mentioned who were in visiting freaking out over my face being red those those were not the ones who typically drive me crazy. My dad and his parents, those are the ones who drive me crazy when they're concerned about me. Well, anyway, I wear my robe almost all the time. I hardly ever take it off. The only times I take it off are to go use the bathroom or when I'm outside swinging on my new swing set. Well, anyway, when my, when my, when my Aunt Michelle and Uncle Willis were in town visiting when they saw my face when they saw that my face was red they checked my blood pressure just to see if I was all right and and YouTube viewers when my family checks on me that gets on my nerves because my dad and grandparents they used to have a habit of checking on me first thing in the morning saying, How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I know I'm repeating myself a little bit, but sometimes it's on purpose, sometimes it's not. My dad and, and his parents, they used to have a habit of of texting me first thing in the morning and and they'd go, How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? They would either call or text me first thing in the morning and ask me that question and 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 even though my dad's my dad and his parents even though even though they've not done it in a long time when they did it, they did it so much that I got to where I now hate the question, "How are you or how are you doing?" That question now either gets on my nerves or pisses me off well anyway back to the point. 
since they checked my blood pressure when my aunt and uncle Willis and Michelle were in from from West Virginia. <sighs> Thankfully, mine was fine then. But but be, but because when my when my aunt Michelle and Uncle Willis wanted to know about my blood pressure, that made me so mad that I was annoyed because people wanted to check on me, and it also and it also s scared me because they actually because my mom actually checked my blood pressure. Well, thankfully. My blood pressure was good. But, but, this has been at least, well, this, um, the family has been gone. They were in either last weekend or, or week before last. That's been at least a few days to two weeks ago when my when my family was in visiting, but on the day that I made this video, my nanny Gertrude, my mom's mom, she was going, "Why is your face so red? Why is your face so red?" And she's not one of the relatives who's had a history of of aggravating the crap out of me. Well, well. When my mom told them what happened, when my mom told Nanny what happened when Aunt Michelle and, and Uncle Willie were in, even though I, even though they didn't f freak out or get on my nerves, I mean, even though, even though they didn't freak out or get worried themselves or check my blood pressure, they got on my nerves so bad that I said, Mom, Nanny, Getting checked on makes me mad enough to cuss. Because, because, since certain members of my family have a history of checking on me so much when there's nothing to be concerned about, because since, since certain members of my family used to check on me so much, that either, that either scares me or makes me mad depending on the circumstances well well youtube of viewers i'm here to tell you for the past couple of weeks i have been telling all my family between 3 p.m and 6 p.m unless it is a life or death emergency or unless it is a very important emergency between 3 and 6 p.m. I will not be answering any calls or texts because that time between 3 and 6 p.m., that time is only for God. The time between 3 and 6 p.m. is only for God. So YouTube viewers, 1 Thessalonians 5 says, Pray without ceasing. And Isaiah chapter 41 and First John chapter four and Second Timothy chapter one talk about how we do not need to fear. And John fourteen is where Jesus tells us if we love him, keep his commandments. And John fifteen is where Jesus tells us if we keep his commandments, we are his friends. Will YouTube viewers? Let me tell you, if we do not if we do not set aside one to three or four hours every day to be alone with the Lord, we are making a total mistake. Because first Peter five says, Cast all your cares on the Lord, for he careth for you. First Thessalonians five says, Pray without ceasing. Matthew six Matthew 6 says to pray for the Lord's will to be done. And since, and since 1 John 4 and 2 Timothy 1 and Isaiah 41 
tell us that the Lord does not want us to fear or or the Lord does not want us to be afraid. We are wasting our time if we are not with the Lord. Once we pick out one, two, three, or four hours a day to be alone with the Lord, we should let everyone we know know. We should tell everyone that we know, hey, during this time every day, unless it is an emergency or a life or death emergency or something important, I will not be answering any calls or texts. Because, folks, the Lord is so merciful that he will help us with His, with, with every fear that we have. Since, since 1 Thessalonians 5 says, pray without ceasing. And since John 15 tells us, if we keep the commandments that Jesus gives us, we are his friends. You and I are wasting our time if we do not pray for the Lord to not let us be afraid when others are afraid about anything concerning us or not concerning us. YouTube, YouTube of viewers, if this video helps you, I'd like to know, but never thank me. If you're not able to leave a comment letting me know, that is always by pure accident every time. So if you're able to leave a comment, please tell me how this helped you. And if you're able to leave a comment or not, I'd like to ask you to also please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. may be in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret. And thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. Psalm Who was guile found in his mouth? Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again? When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. For ye were a sheep, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. For ye were a sheep going shall appear ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away likewise ye younger submit yourselves unto the elder yea all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility for God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, 